Hi everyone, I'm just trying to make this um, a little bit more summery, um, but the sun's not out and I'm in my office, so I'll just put these sunglasses on, maybe that'll make a difference. <laughs> I wanted to show you how to do a really simple, sexy makeup for hot summer balmy evenings. Um, keeping it simple, keeping effective. Um, prep my skin, I'm going to go straight in with the Charlotte Tilbury Unisex Healthy Glow straight on with my fingers it comes out white it's a it's a color adjusting product which is really really nice um i've done a few of these um on my channel because i really love them and this is by far the punchiest in color in terms of it gives a really nice color payoff this is like warm caramel perfected skin so it just gives you a nice veil of color i like the trini bff as well that's slightly lighter, gives a beautiful finish, um, but this just gives a little bit more. Nice marketing, unisex, really. Get your husband or your boyfriend to, to wear it, or your brother or your mate, whichever. But this just gives me all I need. Now, I'm not having a perfected skin at all, but you know, on holiday when it's hot and it's balmy, I mean, you just don't want, well, I don't want too much on my face. And I just think this delivers Beautifully, I've been really enjoying using this actually at home in London or you know wherever, but it's a nice one for holidays. But look at that lovely colour. So it adapts, obviously not for darker, darker complexions, um, unfortunately. Um, but for pale to sort of deep olive, this will work really well. Um, Always, always, always do a little bit of light. I'm going to be using Radiant Lift by Max Factor. I love the spongy applicator. Now, again, you can see that this is quite light, but you guys know me by now. You know that I really like to exaggerate with my ring finger. Push, push, push. Exaggerate the lightness of that concealer because then it gives you a lovely shape to your face. It opens out your eyes, it brightens your eyes. You know, like you're covering something like a bruise or something, you have to go a little bit lighter. If you use a concealer that's the same colour as your foundation over a darker area of your face, it's not going to lift it so much, is it? Great. Um, I'm going to go straight in with a bit of blush. I love the Electric Apricot from Nip and Fab. Oh, I love these apricot shades in summer. They're really lovely. Again, great packaging, chuck it on. This gives a nice pop to the cheek. Now before I put my bronzer on, I will do a little bit of powder. And what I like to take with me, just you know, in those ugly areas, I like to use the, the Beauty Pie One Powder Wonder. Um, I'm probably gonna use, yeah, my Space NK brush, slightly angled. Um, this is fantastic, works for all skin shades. It's brilliant. I have it in my kit, it's like an emergency in case I haven't got the exact powder I want for someone. But look, whatever shade I am, so I arrive on holiday really pale, I leave nice and turned, hopefully, safely, fakely, probably, on my face at least. Um, and it just knocks back that shine. I mean, it's just such a, a lovely product. Great, so you think that it would come out a little bit grey, but it doesn't at all, even with a tan skin. So. I'm going to do that, but I am going to bronze with powder uh, my complexion as well. I'm going to use the Vita Liberata. I love this. Um, it's a luxury tan. It's meant to be sort of slightly um, fake tan as well. It's meant to leave a sort of residue of beautiful warmth to your skin. It's minimal. So if you want to fake tan your skin, um, use a proper fake tan. But it's really lovely on completely bare skin. I like to put it in the pot first and then mix it round into the lid because then I just get a lovely, look at that nice even distribution of the brush. Um, this one is a MAC 135S. I love it because it doesn't displace the product in one big round blob. You see the shape of this brush? So it allows me just to get to the outer areas of my face because I want to sort of chisel in this color. But I've got a girlfriend who just uses this only on her skin. Oh, she does have really annoyingly perfect skin. Not annoyingly, lucky her, she has great skin. <laughs> she can just wear Vita Liberata, woohoo. She can and she does and that's all she does on her, on her face and she just looks wonderful. 
So paint this around nice and lightly. It's so soft and nice. Another favourite actually, which I wasn't sure which one I was going to use, um, is the It Cosmetics. Um, you can see that's well used. Ombre Radiance, again, really soft, gentle, slightly um, varying pigments again, which is what I like. Um, it's not completely flat, but it's not sh like a shimmer brick. Um, I, I'm just not a fan of um, a very sort of discified face with just lots of metallic everywhere. I like metallics very much, but I don't like them all over my face. I like them strategically placed. So we can just carry on building, building, building. And what I will do is go back in again with my blush because it's just slightly softened and I love, there you are, I see, I just love it when the blush makes the bronzer pop, you see, it just kind of elevates it and really brightens underneath your eyes again. Such a nice concealer, that Radiant Lift. I have to say, it's long wear, um, it doesn't pinch the skin and it's just lightly reflective. What I'm gonna do here, so I just feel that I need a little bit of a touch up here. I'm gonna ignore my pigmentation because I just don't want like a really heavy look, but I think I can tidy up the outside of my eyes. It's great for sort of pinpointing and you've got a nice sponge applicator like that. Again, just under my nose, I've always got a bit of redness under my nose. So for my brows, I use the um, Diego de la Palma. This is shade um, 114. I just did it because my brows take a little bit of time to fill in softly to get perfect. And I'm always conscious that I'm taking too much time explaining things to you. So let me just perfect those after I've gone over with my big brush and destroyed the shape. It's a nice shade this actually. Just sharpen it to get underneath my brow there. Just to fill in that area there, make it nice and soft. Soft but long lasting, the shape. Right, so there's my skin, I'm happy with that. I might add a little bit of gold because it kind of goes nice with my dress. Um, I wish I could tell you where this dress is from, it's a very old one, I bought it for a wedding in a vintage shop. Um, I wish I could wear it more, it's just such a lovely dress. Right, um, I'm gonna go in with the Stella Eyes to Kill by Giorgio Armani, now this is shade three. Mm. Now this is beautiful, it's like a sort of dark emerald grey black, comes out beautiful. Now you might think that this is a little bit strong. Um, well it's not for the faint hearted, let me tell you that, it's not going to be natural. But what I like is a nice tan skin with a slight contrast of colour. If I had this tan skin with the peachy cheek and the orangey lip and the orangey nail, it's complete overkill. Um, and then I went in with a nice bronze eye with a gold highlight. It's just too much of the same thing. So I love this. Really simple. It's so soft. So if you're getting ready in a sort of sweaty bathroom, not a sweaty bathroom, in maybe a hot stuffy bathroom, you know, the temperatures are high, you don't want to be filling around with powders. And yes, this does go on like a powder, but there's no fallout. It's so buttery and creamy when you apply it that it's just it's just idiot proof, it just goes on nice. But I think that it gives such a sultry finish. Now, you can see again what I'm doing is I'm just looking into the mirror to make sure that as I look straight, I've got a little bit of shadow over that socket so I'm not making my eyes shrink. I think I'm just gonna keep it top heavy actually. Sometimes I take it underneath as well. Depends how you feel, doesn't it? Depends what your lighting's like. I'm gonna take a nice brush and just soften that into the socket. You can also do it with your finger. I mean, it's, it's that soft. I do lots of different colors, but I just like this one for holidays because it just looks a little bit more dressed up. And sometimes on holiday, you know, you're <laughs> You don't look your best, do you? You're like hot and pink and your hair is in a, a, a pineapple most of the time. Who can be bothered with any sort of makeup really when you're, well if you've got children jumping in and out of the pool and stuff. I'm sure if you don't have kids you look far more glamorous than I do. Um, so that's that and then I'm going to go in with the Max Factor Kajal which is so soft. It's propelling and I'm just going to tuck it in my waterline there. The wonderful thing about the cajoles, as I'm sure you will know, is that they're very soft and delicate. Back in the day when we used to define people's eyes, 
you'd really struggle to find something that was uh, non-irritating and you want to just quickly, especially when you're putting it in on someone else, you've got to be really trusting of the person that's scribbling away in your eye. So to find a product that glides on is one product to keep. And these are great, especially a propelling one because you just obviously don't need to sharpen them. I'm just going to pull it out slightly there. I'm just going to take a closer mirror to make sure that I've done it right. Yeah. Okay. Well, if I'd smudged it under there, let's just have a look. That looks a bit smudged under there. And smudging we don't mind, we really don't mind, but that was quite a smudge. Good. Okay. I'm happy with those eyes. I might just do another little layer of mascara just to give myself a bit of a lift. This is the Flash Full Slash by Beauty Pie, which I'm loving. Just love the brush, it just makes life easy. Always think that lashes need to stand out over and above your eyeshadow. That colour makes my eyes quite green actually with the dress. Um, so just a little, I mean, I'm sort of, I'm pressing the mascara because I obviously don't want to make it all cloggy. So I'm just pressing it on, that just gives it a little bit more fa va -voom. makes the lashes stick out the most. Okay, so Ilia, Ilia is a brand that I love, cruelty free, all natural, and again I'm going with a lovely orangey coral. This is sheerer, okay, this is nice and sheer, and I just love the consistency of this. You see how instantly that just kind of brightens my teeth. It's a real true orangey coral. Bear with me while I'll apply. Rub it in and then I'm just going to take my, my Kitco lip brush and just perfect it. I'm going to bother with the lip liner. Oh, sorry for the DIY across the road. What a lovely shade. Well, I hope you like it. Um, just a little bit of quick inspiration for how to do your makeup when you don't really have much time with no fuss when you're in a kind of balmy, warm environment. Chuck your hair up, chuck on an eye and make it soft and big so it really pulls out your features. So I'm going to sign off for a few weeks now. I'll probably be back in the middle of September. I'm going to spend some time with my family, gather lots of new inspiration ideas and products for the latter end of the year. Thank you so much for all your support, all your comments. They are really valuable to me. I love perusing through them all and um, seeing how generous you are with your kindness. I really appreciate that. Um, so have a great summer, rest and relax as much as you can. And I look forward to chatting to you in a few months. Bye for now.